Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Gaming Citadel video, we're going to be continuing our look at the OmenX desktop. This is a sponsored video and we'll be focusing on the system's performance in a variety of game titles at the highest graphical settings across the most popular resolutions. For a quick recap, our test system features an Intel i7-6700K, 16GB of DDR4 memory and a single GTX 1080 Founders Edition card. For comparison benchmarks, we'll should be showing two other popular graphics cards HP offers, both the RX 480 and the GTX 1070. The Omen X is also available with the i7-7700K processor with configurations too, but a KB Lake sample was not available for us in the time of producing this video. We loaded up a variety of the current and most popular titles, including Doom, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Ashes of Singularity, Cry Far Cry Primal, Battlefield 1, Resident Evil 7, and Hitman 2016. A nice mixture of traditional DirectX 11 workloads combined with the newfangled DirectX 12 and Vulkit. Vulcan app is to give you an idea of how the Omen X will handle games of the future, testing resolutions up to a punishing 4K, which is four times the number of pixels on screen than 1080p. There's a certain perverse pleasure to be had when you load up a game such as Resident Evil 7 or Battlefield 1, crank the resolutions up to 4K and set all the graphics options to max without even a second thought, and then you watch the frame rate counter still be higher than what the next generation consoles can muster, while looking a hell of a lot nicer too. With the GTX 1080 you'll be able to dominate the game in multiplayer and single player. For instance, Doom 4K with everything maxed out, up to 50 frames per second while ripping and tearing through hordes of the demons. Hitman more your thing? Well, at 4K you'll be obtaining between 50 and 60 frames per second during the built-in benchmark. At 1440p it'll be up to 100 frames per second. Rise of the Tomb Raider up to 80 frames a second in 1440p or even more and up to 60 fps in Resident Evil 7 with everything maxed down up to 4k. This is without the GTX 1080 being tweaked or overclocked at all, which of course you are completely free to do. For folks who are playing at 1440, a GTX 1070 is probably the perfect compromise between price and performance, but if you're insistent on the highest frame rates and highest levels of anti-aliasing, there is quite the case for Nvidia's GTX 1080. But, since 4K does require the graphics card to push four times the number of pixels compared to just 1080p, even the mighty GTX 1080 can't quite hold 60fps locked in all games. Ultimately, if you're plugging the Omen X into your living room television, the resolutions will either be 1080p or 4K, and a single GTX 1080 will likely suffice at 4K for the rest of the year, depending on your desire for over 60fps. For 1080p, the RX 480 or a GTX 1070 are perfect, with the 1070 being the faster of the two options. If you do insist on 4K at 60fps or more, then dual GTX 1080s is really the only way to go. For folks who are buying the Omen X for a second gaming room, particularly true if you're buying the mon monitor simultaneously with the system, a good compromise between 1080p and 4K is 1440p. You get the benefits of a significant number of additional pixels over 1080p, but the Omen X with this configuration can rip through games of now and likely will do so for some time to come. Plus there's a wider number of screens available at a decent price, and HP do offer a selection if you prefer to get it as a bundle. The other bonus with 1440p and 1080p is you get the ability to do downsampling or, if you prefer, dynamic super resolutions. This means you can render the game natively at high resolution, say 4K, and have it scaled down to fit to the monitor. This increases the level of detail, improves textures, and reduces aliasing, the jaggers around geometry. But if you're still running very demanding games, then you can have the lower this resolution to the monitor's native resolution and it will still look absolutely great. The downsampling is still available at 4K, however, to downsample from say 5K requires an enormous amount of GPU performance. For those concerned about storage speed, you will likely be aware that SSD manufacturers have struggled to move past the limitations imposed on them by SATA 3 for a number of years now. This isn't the fault of Crucial or Samsung, for example, rather the SATA 3 interface just cannot handle the ever-increasing speed these new drives operate at. Therefore, Omen X wisely embraces NVMe, a new interface and industry standard designed for SSD devices. We will focus on the NVMe drive in this particular showcase model, 
and was tested on a few different applications including the ever popular Crystal Disk Mark. For sequential Q3 to T1 read speeds we achieved a raw figure of 2253 megabytes per second with write reaching an impressive 1250. For sequential read we hit just under 1800 megabytes per second and write of almost 1250 megabytes per second. To put that into perspective, the currently popular Samsung 840 EVO 1TB SSD, which uses the older SATA 3 port technology, achieves figures which is around a third of the speed. HP uses this particular drive to install Windows, so the machine and applications load quite snappily, and depending on the size of your SSD selection, you'll likely have sufficient space to install a few games as well. If you're used to the loading times of older, mechanical drives, the loading speeds of an NVAE SSD might come as a pleasant surprise. As we said in our video covering the overview of the Omen X, where we closely examine the look of the Omen X desktop features, case and configuration options, HP have created an interesting product line to suit a wide number of budgets. Yes, it is cheaper to build your own computer, but then you need to research the parts, build it, install Windows, stability test it, and fault test it assuming anything goes wrong, install the relevant drivers, and so on. But with a pre-built system, it's just plug in and you go, and plus you get a warranty. The performance of this particular machine is on par with high-end gaming PCs, capable of playing the latest and greatest titles at astounding levels of detail and fluidity. Add this to being easily able to swap in and out parts if you desire at a later date. If you've been primarily a console gamer, making the jump to PC is now easier than ever, with HP offering easy configuration options and advice on the website, plus the ability to easily tinker with the machine at a later date. Combine that with software such as GeForce Experience, Steam and Origin, making installing and managing games and their graphical settings a doddle. PC gaming just seems all the more appealing and accessible than ever. The Omen X by HP is an excellent system for those looking to jump into PC gaming, but the reassurance they can swap out parts and customize the system if their usage scenario changes in the future. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video, take care of yourselves, and bye for now.